We're here at the Robbins Museum, and this is the exhibit on Bull Brook, and David DeMello, who's the museum director, is going to tell us about it. David, tell us about what is Bull Brook. Bull Brook is a site that is on Bull Brook in Ipswich. It is the oldest Native American site in Massachusetts. It dates from somewhere between 1050 and 11,000 years ago. It was excavated in the 50s by members of the MAS, the, a number of people, the Vaccaro brothers, William Ed Eldridge and Tony Orsini. And they were doing salvage archaeology because the site is in a quarry and the quarry was being dismantled and used and they got just ahead of the bulldozers. And one of the key things that they did, which was very unusual at that time period, is they plotted site-wise where they found the artifacts. In the past, that really hadn't been done much. And because they did that, they were able to determine that there were, I believe, 36 separate activity sites that were all active at the same time. Now, this is very unusual because the Paleo people, the first people who came after the Ice Age, were not thought to have gathered in large quantities. But this was certainly a large quantity. This is probably the second largest site or one of the top sites in the country. And they know that they, all of the material was gathered from the same level so that those 36 activity areas were probably active all at the same time. And how old are the artifacts found in this area, in the Bullbrook? Um... Well, the, the Bullbrook site, most of the artifacts that were found have been dated in the area of 10,500 to 11,000 years ago. And what kind of um, game would they have been hunting? The theory that's been put forth is that Bullbrook area was right about at the end of where the tundra was up north in uh, New England. And it was believed that herd of caribou still came down into that area. And it's possible that there was a location that is now off the coast that was high ground at this time period. And that would have funneled the caribou herd through a narrow area and made them easier targets for the paleo hunters. So that is a thought of why the people were there is because they knew that there would be a large food source available to them at that time. And how can they date these artifacts? How can you be sure that they're um, this old and a paleo site? Our stone artifacts are, jet are dated by their association with objects that can be dated, and typically those are carbon-containing items, charcoal, pieces of bone, things of that nature. You can do carbon-14 dating with those items, and if they are excavated and you find they're all on the same stratum, you can assume that the artifacts are the same date as the charcoal. And this was tested and um, confirmed that it's a paleo site through the carbon dating. Yes, yes, that is the source of the dating. Prior to that, there was no way to really establish age. You could establish that something was older than something else, typically by it being above it in the ground. But once carbon-14 became available in 1950, they were able to actually date with very, very great uh, precision Is how old the material was. Is this a picture of the actual excavation by the Vaccaros and um, the other folks who did this in the yes, it is. 19... What year? 1950s were when most of the excavation was done. And they were amateur or avocational that archaeologists. They were, that they were. And Much of the work back then was done by avocational archaeologists. And most of the collections actually found here were done by avocational? In, at the Robbins Museum, yes. The huh. majority of our material came from avocational archaeologists. It was... It was, the, they were the people doing most of the work in the earlier days, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And because of that, um, this site was about to be um, demolished as a quarry, and that's why they were saving this before it became demolished. They, they located it very late, and um, I think it was 1951 when they detected the first artifacts, and because of the style of the artifacts, they knew they were dealing with paleo. And they knew, I believe they knew the person who ran the quarry and actually got them to hold off a little bit on the areas while they rushed to gather as much information as they could. It's so amazing that this site is this old 
in New England and was saved right before the bulldozer. And this can be seen where? At the Robbins Museum? What days? The Robbins Museum is open Wednesday from 10 to 4 and Saturday from 10 to 2. We're at 17 Jackson Street, Middleborough, Mass. Thank you.